And I'm sure you got that all with dropping just kind of finish you out of the way here. Wow. Yeah, this thing has got some juice to it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow, this thing is, I mean, it's pretty quick, pretty fun. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pedro, hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. In front of me, I have a, finally, a 2022 Ford Maverick XL. Uh, you know, it's been pretty pretty hard to find one, especially here at the dealership. Uh, every one they get, they fly off. I mean, there's basically, they, they land, the moment they land, uh, they are basically gone. So it's been pretty, not easy to grab a Ford Maverick that's sitting on a dealer slot or inventory. But I finally got the chance, even though it's a slightly used uh, Ford Maverick, it is still a, you know, basically a new 2022 Ford Maverick. Now this one that we have in front of us here is an XL model. That is your base model. There's basically three models. You got the XL, the XLT, and the Lariat. This one that we have here is powered by the two liter EcoBoost engine, which is a more powerful engine uh, besides the hybrid power plant you can get. And this one automatically comes with four wheel drive. So this is one of the packages or one of the trims that you can get. But it's an awesome looking car. This one here that we have with us is in a cactus gray, which is an awesome color that basically, you know, put in the, in the Broncos, which is really looks awesome. Really nice, pretty, actually goes pretty well with the way this Maverick looks. Now this is not your typical uh, pickup truck. This is not a body on frame truck. This is a unibody pickup truck or a small truck, uh, which is awesome. There's only other one more truck. Well, especially well, you got the Hyundai Santa Cruz and you got the Hyundai, uh, the Honda base version. I forgot the name of that guy's but I lost right now, but you got the Honda Pilot base, uh, which I just lost right now. Ah, oh, can't believe it. But I'll put it up on, your, on, the, on the screen for you guys. But those are basically it, but those are basically it. But for this size, for this size of pickup, this is the only one that's other kind of competition compared to this will be the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Now, obviously these are very unique trucks, you know, small, this will fit in your garage very easily. Uh, you know, it's, it is based off the Ford Escapes architecture, which is also used for the Ford Bronco Sport. So this is, you know, they're really using this, this uh, architecture, you know, from a pickup truck to a, you know, a 4x4 Bronco Sport to a regular, you know, SUV midsize Escape. So a lot of ways they are using this, this architecture, but this, uh, this battery looks awesome. As you can see, we got uh, really nice, you know, it's kind of a basic truck, you know, it's nothing for them trying to do anything fancy with a such small truck, but kind of a utilitarian truck that is priced, you know, low. You know, you should, you should be able to, make, or if you wait, get one for around $22,000, $23,000. That's what they're kind of starting at, $22,000, uh, especially for something like this XL. And if you get the hybrid version, yeah, that's what basically you get from the drive with a hybrid power, you know, really high, high 20s low 30 miles you know for truck and especially this size and something this small you know it's a winning combination so uh, but coming around just taking a quick look at this are your base 17 inch you know steel wheels with 225 millimeter tires all around uh, this is the way the driver will come kind of like a crew cab four doors and no other type of you know extended cab or anything like that this is just your four door and uh, of course you got your gas cap here your gas cap uh, you got your gas cap here as you can see similar to basically kind of the four escapes or anything like that Rumper, this uh, is already uh, ready for towing this one here with the two liter turbocharged engine will tow four thousand pounds and on this bed as you can see guys this is basically your, your base you know truck there's no types of connections here let's go ahead and open up we do have a backup camera here as well and as you can see we got the maverick name stamped into the door with the oval drive emblem there so it's a pretty cool truck nonetheless and especially in this color so 
there's no automatic door or anything like that on this one do is gonna head and just leave that going it's not too heavy so we got no type of protection or anything like that this is just your basis this is a four and a half foot bed which is not huge but it gives you plenty to carry if you're gonna do this for a light duty like you know gardening or anything light or light business this is perfect now this one doesn't have any type of connections or anything like that that you can get an upgrade on the XL or anything like that you can actually option up all these trucks especially with a black uh, you know manual power sliding window you can get all that kinds of stuff as options so uh, but it's just pretty basic you know there's just a few connections here you can tow some stuff into it and you can hook up but not much stuff at all but obviously you can definitely option up anything you like to have so but this is pretty cool obviously it's not out you know super small but it's plenty of that in this and it's awesome the way this little ford maverick is uh but this is pretty cool in size obviously it's something you know you kind of get adjusted to it but it is small you know it is it's a very compact truck uh which is awesome you can fit in your garage easily you can do anything with this thing and park it maneuver it it's a much easier pickup to live with if you know and then you don't want to have something huge like a at 150 or a big gladiator truck or something much bigger this is a much more efficient and more of a what's a user-friendly pickup so all right guys so back here looking at this bed we can put up to 1500 pounds of load of uh, payload here in this bed which is not bad it's pretty good size obviously you can put you know many things here and 1500 pounds is quite a bit of, of weight so that's awesome to put on this you know pretty pretty good size of a portion you can put in the back of this bed so so just taking a look at it obviously you have this pretty basic as we have your antenna here you can also get a sunroof as well that's part of the options you got basic your basic you know black rubber kind of uh, door handles black plastic mirrors and, and it's not too bad obviously it's uh you know it's a more of a base truck but it looks pretty good and i think it's a very nice truck obviously here in the front you do have led uh headlights we don't have any fog lights or anything like that we have you know just a regular condensed turn signals and you got the black grill here with the ford badge and obviously if we got the xlt or a lariat model with different packages they might spruce up the exterior a little bit as well as the interior and get different wheels as well but, all right so coming in here we're checking out the tire uh which is these are basically continental conti cross tires there's a 225 millimeter tires all around 17 inch wheel obviously these are all season tires now if you go to the apex 4 package for a higher trim you're going to get off road tires or all season or all terrain tires depending on your package but these are your basically your base tires uh there's no adjustable suspension or anything like that but obviously this is what you get with the base uh maverick all right so checking out the back seat of this Maverick obviously you know it's a smaller size portion of a, of a truck obviously you're gonna have a full size but it's still pretty decent remember this is escape base so this escape bus is not a very tight SUV it's pretty comfortable in the back now just checking out the materials on the outside here we got a very unique texture to this plastic here obviously it's hard but it's got a bluish tint to it which is really cool we got that those your unique kind of modern door handles that don't extend all the way but you kind of grab them this way you got plenty of room for drinks you got your window control here and a block plastic you know grab handle for the door now coming here we also have the bluish you know black uh, plastic here coming along the bottom then we have your basically uh bl basic black cloth seats uh which are just with standard seats you can also get uh you know the, the cross sticks or leather as well depending on the on the package the ladder go higher uh, but it's not bad at all i mean it's pretty cool the way this is now obviously we'll go inside in just a few moments so we're going to show you here you can definitely put the seats if you grab this little panel here you can definitely put the seats down obviously if you put the headrest down you can put this flat and have plenty of uh space to put some things to, to put more storage here in the back or you can grab this one here and also put the seats up so you can put the seats up put some more storage space so you can see that we have some vents here in the back which is awesome so pretty awesome awesome and unique that this truck has all these kinds of features especially for a base truck so let's go ahead and get in sorry right, guys i'm um, back here in this maverick obviously it's a little tight the seats probably sit back a little bit but i'm about 5'11 i back at yak i mean i'm not squeezed into the seat but i'm right on it uh but it's not uncomfortable got plenty of headroom uh it's not bad obviously it's a little taller truck so it's pretty comfortable i mean considering it's i mean you don't want to be here for a two three hour trip probably but you know a half hour trip is perfectly fine uh you can definitely put five in the back here if you're a little bit smaller but not like not, not too big as like me uh but overall overall you know you got some headrest you, you can do an optional sliding rear window here that's part of the options and also a sunroof as well that's part of the options you can get you got a pocket here in the back but nothing for the rear for the front passenger on the driver's side and this cloth feels pretty durable it's not bad at all uh, of course you got more plastically stuff but the cool the blue, the blue accent looks pretty cool um there are no there's only a 12 volt connection here in the back but we have nothing else uh i'll check the might depending on the package but usually you might not have any 
AC vents or anything else in the back. They might give you a USB depending on the trim. But over here, you're looking at the interior layout of this uh, Microsan battle. It's pretty cool. It's kind of similar to the uh, Bronco Sport kind of interior. Kind of gives it a small vibe, but you got an 8 inch screen and you know, it's pretty, pretty decent, a nice, decent interior for this for Maverick considering you know the price and the, you know, it's being a pickup. All right, let's go ahead and check out the power plant of this Maverick. Let's go ahead and pull this twice. We can take a look at that power plant. So coming up here, guys, we're gonna just get this hold of this little slider there and just open up the hood. Obviously, we got no hydraulic struts here. We're gonna have to use our little stick here and put that in here in the holes. There we go. We got a little arrow there to help you out where to, that, to locate that. All right, guys, so here we have the two liter EcoBoost motor for cylinder turbo with 250 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque. Now, obviously, this is driving the all-wheel drive system. It's probably an electronically uh, controlled all-wheel drive system, and we got an eight-speed automatic transmission. Obviously, if you get the more base model or the hybrid model, there's a four-cylinder, 2.5-liter uh, four-cylinder with the electric engine, um, and of course, that gives you about 191 horsepower on the base engine. And obviously, that's you know hybrid power is much more efficient, but it's only available in front-wheel drive. So if you want all-wheel drive, you're gonna have to get the motor the two liter ecoboost engine so this is an awesome engine this engine is in everything i'm used to this engine because my 2004 16 is personal escape has this engine the two liter engine they're pretty powerful engines mine has a six speed this is has the eight speed which is much much better uh but this is our awesome engines they're pretty decent in gas not too bad there's not much echo in them too either but um they're pretty powerful like a absolutely great torque and um, mine has almost 100,000 miles, so I'm sure these are always, always refined and bettered. So, um, but this is a great little engine, especially for this model of a truck. It makes this pretty quick. It's just a slightly that I drove it. It's pretty quick. So, but um, there you go, guys. This is your simple engine for this Ford Maverick. And uh, let's go ahead and pop the little button here and get this stick back in its place and just drop the hood. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get inside the driver's side of this Maverick. Now, obviously, here you can tell we got a little bit of sun. We got that bluish shade. That's really cool the way that looks. Obviously, that's a really nice accent. That, I mean, it's a really nice detail that Ford put at least give you a little different colors of the interior. It kind of makes it fun. Uh, we have your uh, cloths here for the, our, your armrest. We have window controls and mirror controls as well, which is pretty cool. I love this way this is designed. Uh, it's pretty clever. It looks a little more futuristic. Now, this has got a little bit of accent colors if you go to the higher trims, which looks pretty cool. And over here, you can see we got more blue colors around in the dash from the, the more dark gray and that blue. Here we got a little cool thing where it says for built, built for tough, which is a little cool little Easter egg that for put on there as you can see i saw the new uh ford expedition it has like a little map of the of the town and, and mountains it's pretty cool the way ford's put uh, little easter eggs on their cars so i love that little detail that kind of shows there's a little bit of love into the product which is awesome we just have here your, your base manual seats with the black cloth which is pretty comfortable they feel pretty decently comfortable obviously we got a plastic um uh, leather steering. This is just your basic, your base plastic steering where there's no leather on this at all. You do, do you have at least a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. We got um, controls for your rear bed door. We have trailer control here and we also have light controls for the rest of them. So let's go ahead guys and get into this talk with the check this Maverick out. So, all right, we're inside the Ford Maverick, which is kind of similar type. You know, I kind of feel inside of a Ford Bronco Sport, very similar design to the interior, uh, which is pretty cool. Obviously, it's got a really nice. Obviously, it's all plastic here. It's got a, you know, this is pretty hard, but it's got a bluish tint to that. We got a little cubicle here. Uh, we got a nice design to that. This all kind of changes color depending on the model. And this is a, it looks this is pretty, it's pretty soft here. This is like a grayish uh, finish to this material, but it feels really nice. We got your eight inch uh, sync four system here and we got AC Dallas. We got a single zone AC and uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, first get this model. So let's get this girl started so we could get some air. Now I do have the key here with me and this one here, obviously, if we get the lower base, uh, you're going to have, if we put this back here, this is your key. We got open and close and just a panic button. That's it. Pretty, pretty simple, but you got to whip out that key old school way and insert the key and turn on this beauty so this is pretty base obviously things are turning on you got your screen on all your uh you guys got a point and a half inch screen here as well four inch screen here for information yes my door is ajar and let's put this manual down so we guys we got before closing the door let's go ahead and hear a little bit of that ecoboost engine that sounds pretty good you can hear a tiny bit of uh turbo weasel but uh not bad at all 
So let's go ahead and close the door, guys. Here, I love that door in the little way, the way the way that is. It's really cool. I like that. Let's go ahead and actually wait and close it all the way. Let's go ahead and, and put on our seatbelt because we're gonna go for a drive. And uh, but taking a look at this interior, I really like it. You know, it's, it's basic, but it's got a lot of amenities. Obviously, you got your eight-inch screen here. Uh, we got all basic instrumentation here with analog gauges. We got a little bit of four inch screen here That tells you just basic information of you know, you got a, dig a digital speedometer and of course you're gonna have different settings here Driver assist we got FM radio no device connected uh, You know settings for the truck and all that's your basic stuff You know your miles per gallon and all that stuff so 173 miles are empty or just your basic information of this truck um we got, of course, we got no pilots or anything like that. Uh, we have it on the steering wheel, so even though it's plastic, it's not bad at all. Um, you got a bit of aluminum trim here. All the window controls and everything's on your fingertips, as well as the center portion of the instrument panel here. Of course, you got the eight inch screen, uh, you know, Sync 4. This is just a base base model. Um, you probably can get navigation on the higher models, so obviously, you can option it off. Uh, this might have Android, Apple, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay as well, either plug in or by air uh, but you got different apps you got different things you can add as well but this is just a base your base 8 inch screen at least you get an 8 inch screen got a little cubicle here as well on the top so here we got your base radio um, this has only got I believe four speakers Continuous light. so it's not bad sounding obviously it's really base for, for a truck um, obviously you got your buttons here physical buttons we got a hazards here your tune button two AC outlets here single zone AC which is really nice and cool you can get definitely a dual zone out stuff with higher models two USB connections here we got a 12 volt obviously I can put my phone here little phone holder there which is awesome you get your little uh, gear dial here to do your gears we got low as well parking brake we do have a bit of uh, actually driving uh, dynamics since we have four-wheel drive on this model we got normal we have tow and haul we do have slippery we have echo and we have sport now obviously we we're not going to take it off road but let's put it in the sport because that's the type of channel we are we like driving sport um the rest of the buttons here we have uh basically a little bit of a, looks like a looks like an off-road control or crawl this is to turn off your automatic sun stop and at lights and we have also a brake hold when you're stopped at a light as well a couple of cup holders and cubicles and uh opening this up i don't see any other connections here at all it's your base cubicle here with some more slots and just basically uh, serves as an armrest but overall the visibility is really nice i mean obviously it's got a great visibility uh the seats are nice as well i love the way they are the interior i love the blue accent which makes it really look cool excellent excellent touch forward uh, and of course you got a glass holder we got just basic lights here if you want to do the lights uh we have no home link and just basically a mirror here and that's about it you can option off there is an optional sunroof here you can put as well which will be awesome to put give you a little more lighting but uh, that's your basic this is you know that's your basic your base maverick uh truck it's really cool obviously you know this is well, it's gonna drive basically i'm thinking more of a you know car usv like uh but it's pretty cool obviously the glove box got pretty good size as well and uh but that's about it guys pretty easily pretty you know comfortable truck the seats feel the seats feel very comfortable and uh, let's go ahead and get this girl out on the drive so i'm gonna put this on d we are in sport mode and uh, let's go ahead and do a quick turning radius or at least a, get this going here oh yeah this is this thing yeah this is kind of the same as uh ford escape side so you're gonna have the same turning radius as any of those trucks so the only competition to this ford maverick in terms of the size is the hyundai santa cruz you know it's got the same unibody type of thing and they're both you know pretty obviously the other one looks the hyundai looks a little more suv-ish modern this is more of a truckish look to this but you know people like this type of thing it looks cool and uh you know if you need us something like this this is a great little uh truck you know obviously if you have a small business or need to or want a small truck that you can fit in your garage to do you know home depot errands or lowe's errands or anything like that where you gotta carry some plants and stuff excellent truck and you got you know all wheel drive on this as, as well so you can't really go wrong there's no wonder for selling something like this and, and you know obviously they already closed the books for this year you have to order a 2023 and god knows when that's going to come in but uh you know obviously if we do a little bit of off-roading here it's not going to be much of stopping uh this is obviously this has got you know the full-time all-wheel drive there's no controls to the all-wheel drive it just kind of goes basically into all wheels but uh you know it's pretty cool and this little engine is peppy for sure um let's go ahead and give a quick turn in here so obviously yeah this is yeah this is much more to, yeah this is much more tossable than a ford f-150 or something like that um 
yeah this feels pretty playful too pretty light very light um so obviously this is you know a, nothing sports car or anything like that but you know it's a very light feeling truck definitely feels like uh, you're driving a bronco sport obviously with a bed but that's pretty cool um it's pretty quiet and obviously if we floor it yeah that it was it's got some good torque obviously you know this is the same engine that's on the escape and all those suvs and 250 horsepower is pretty pretty powerful uh, for a little truck like this that's probably not very heavy i'm thinking this is probably 3500 pounds i'll put that up on the, on the video for you guys but driving this thing feels very nice it's got you can it's got it's a little bit of road noise but there's no wind noise well we haven't got it up to speed yet but i haven't heard any wind noise for it and the ride is pretty comfortable it feels a little firm but comfortable as well it's not you know like a bunking bronco truck feel or anything like that now remember this is a unibody truck that's kind of ride pretty much like an suv um, obviously if you put the FX4 package or anything like that off-road that'll definitely have affected but it's not as much you know this is still you know a pretty comfortable uh, chassis to, to work with so but everything's really cool everything's in your hands you know the radio controls everything here is very close to you so it's got a really nice ergonomics as well and let's just put it let's get a little bit on it yeah look at this thing Yeah, this yeah this thing this thing is quick. I mean, considering it's a truck and it's four-wheel drive, this little EcoBoost motor has got some power to it. Um, obviously, this is gonna be maybe about the same or maybe ten a bit heavier than an Escape or a Bronco Sport. This thing, but this thing moves for sure. Uh, there's no slouch at all. Plenty of torque. That 277 pound-feet of torque hits pretty low in the RPM range. So, uh, especially if you're towing something or going off-road, plenty of power. Plenty of power. Do a little bit of check on the brakes. The brakes, oh, the thing works really nice. Got a really nice modular brake pedal. The brake feels good. Obviously, the handling. This thing, you know, it's pretty. pretty there's not a lot of body roll. I feel um, it's pretty stable and it's kind of you know it feels small. So you basically you feel small on the road, not like a big F150 or a regular Bronco. Uh, this thing feels pretty compact on the road, which is awesome. And you got a little bed as well. And this is a great combination. Obviously. Ford's gonna keep selling these things. Uh, you know, obviously, between this and the and Santa Fe and the, and the Hyundai Santa Cruz, you know, it's gonna. Be, I'm sure they're selling quite a bit. Obviously, people might like the more modern look of the Santa Fe. And some, you know, if you're a guy, you probably go with it. This looks a little more of a truckish type of you know vehicle, but it's still very functional, awesome, feel pretty fuel efficient to be honest. And yeah, the brakes are good. This guy going straight or what? But uh, wow, this little yeah, this little Mary feels fantastic, no, nonetheless. So, and obviously you got that all-wheel drive. We just kind of get you out of the way here. Wow. Yeah, this thing has got some juice to it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This thing's this thing is pretty quick, pretty fun. It actually feels fun to drive. It's got a very playful demeanor to it. I mean, it's so small and it's light. I mean, I just drove an Expedition, and of course that feels like a school bus, but it's a very refined school bus, but this thing just feels so cool. And you got the all-wheel drive just clawing away, trying to get away, you know, it's kind of, you think it's like kind of explodes out of the out of the curves. But wow, this is pretty fun. I'm not, I wasn't expecting this kind of fun. Obviously, I was expecting it to feel sort of escapish, you know, they're pretty, pretty decently fun. I mean, they're not boring cars. I mean, they're not sports SUVs or anything like that, or a ST version of, of, a, of an Escape, but this is pretty fun. It's got a really nice, playful, uh, you know, feeling to it. It's stable. Now we're doing 60. There's a little bit of wind noise, but it's pretty quiet in here, to be honest. Uh, it's a pretty quiet truck, nonetheless. Yeah, this thing is awesome. This thing has got some some nice juice to it, and uh, you know, obviously, you can go to, with the with the with the hybrid version. It's not going to feel as quick. I'm sure it's not too bad, and it's front-wheel drive, but this is the truck to get with the two liter engine uh you're gonna have plenty of power you know still still pretty fuel efficient right remember i'm in sport mode so it's keeping the rpms a little bit higher uh but yeah well, this thing feels fantastic to be honest uh it's got plenty of space i mean it's uh, very compact but uh you know it's it feels awesome it still feels modern it still feels you know capable and i'm sure if you get the lariat model with more 
unique touches the higher trim leather seats just the, the sunroof it's gonna feel a little more like a nicer truck and yeah it's pretty interesting the white the Ford has done very very cool and obviously in this cactus way it looks fantastic i think so so guys i just activated the brake hold on this maverick so what it what that does the brake hold is basically it's, it's not turning off the engine but basically it holds i uh, see i got no no foot on the on, it's sitting on drive but i got no foot on the brake so that basically kind of holds when you come to stop at a stoplight this holds your uh, you can just take off your the, your foot off the brake and just hold it for you once you get on the gas it'll just uh, definitely just go away but uh it's pretty cool i mean that's a cool feature you can also it's i have the start engine uh, start the engine stop start off which i don't like i'm glad you can kind of adjust that you don't have to have the both in combination you can just put the hold button by itself on lights which is pretty cool so we have the you know this is a four speaker stereo um oh, let's go ahead so you also have uh, an optional i think it's an eight speaker bang and also system on this truck available as well but uh um, this is pretty cool it's a pretty cool uh little truck and as you can see yeah this thing just goes so it's just eager to go um it's, it feels light it feels awesome it's comfortable to drive the ace is working fantastic uh it's got plenty of room it feels very roomy it feels like driving a, a bronco sport but you know obviously got a little different feel but you get a back you get a bat on the back which is awesome so no wonder ford's gonna be selling these things i love to get my hands on one of these because this is something that you can put in your garage that's fuel efficient and it's not a huge truck it doesn't you know basically uh confine you to a you know driving something huge uh or you know something this is obviously a perfect size a perfect blend of SUV truck uh driving like a car and uh it's pretty awesome i really like this here i'm taking off my foot off the gas i mean i'll foot off the brake and it automatically holds it for me while i'm waiting for this traffic to go but um yeah fantastic fantastic little maverick i'm impressed all right let's go ahead and uh wrap this little drive up very cool very awesome little ford maverick um yeah this this is the engine to get this little twin liter engine is fantastic uh for everybody who's looking for a truck doesn't want to spend the big bucks doesn't want to have a huge truck uh this little maverick now obviously unfortunately ford stopped taking orders for this truck for this year uh they pretty much sold them out obviously if you want to use like this one here this one is available our Barto ford here in Barto florida uh, they are asking 39.9 I think for it. And obviously it's got uh, 5,621 miles, so it's not. It's still a basically a brand new truck. Uh, this is a base one. This is a base XL, so you got pretty much basic uh, truck. But it's still, you know, it, it is, you know, for something like this where you can get them for this. This truck should, you know, if you have all this going on, this was probably be selling for maybe 25, 26 thousand dollars, maybe a little bit over uh what msrp is but not forty thousand. but that's what the market right now guys especially with these trucks you cannot get them not until next year to 2023 if you want to order one uh so but if you want to use one you can definitely get something like this they got two or three of them now that are going to come up all of them are 40 grand they're the same xl with the two liter ecoboost so let's go ahead and put this in reverse check out the reverse camera now obviously this is your base you know a camera this is the graphics are okay they're not bad at all it's pretty pretty clear and the screen is nice obviously we got no we got trajectory line but we have no sort of um we have no sensor or anything like that on this at all and you can press a little button to kind of uh zoom onto your hitch area but that's about it guys for reverse but it's not bad it's a pretty nice camera and uh but there we go guys this is the 2022 ford maverick awesome little pickup plenty of power especially this two liter ecoboost uh seats are comfortable the interior is really nice obviously it's a little truck it's a little plasticky but that's what you expect for a you know a, a car that starts in the mid 20s I and mean, below 25,000 for four wheel drive you know 250 horsepower turbocharged engine pretty fuel efficient with a bed in the back man that is pretty a good deal obviously you have to order them but 40 grand yeah it's kind of high you're gonna you're almost stepping into f-150 territory but uh it is what it is with the pricing right now in the crazy market whether it's houses or it's cars that's what it is guys so all right i hope you guys enjoyed this type of content please subscribe support the channel if you like this type of content i really appreciate you all thank you very much for watching uh thank you to all those that have subscribed i really appreciate it and uh well guys uh, have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next video take care Bye bye